Today we have another new exciting Seiko Prospects release to review, and this one is a bit more unusual than most previous limited editions. This is the SLA-066, which is a recreation of the 62 Moss case, which is originally from a dive watch that they made in 1965, the first made in Japan with water resistance, legibility, and durability that made it standard equipment on the Japanese Antarctic Research Expedition and propelled Seiko into the forefront of dive watch design. But this case is in gold tone, which really sets it apart from the other version. This piece is meant to pay tribute to underwater archaeology and features a champagne sunray dial with a design inspired by ancient astrolabs, which were used to find latitude and time based on the position of the stars and the sun. This piece also has a lot in common with Grand Seiko, which we'll find out about later in the video. And since this is part of Seiko's Save the Ocean campaign, a portion of the proceeds from sales will be contributed to marine conservation. But will this be the refined Seiko diver that you have been looking for? Or will you just keep saving for the next Grand Seiko? Let's find out. What's up everyone, it's Chris with the Little Treasury Channel. Welcome back. This is where we bring you original and in-depth watch content at least once per week. If you haven't already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be alerted as soon as we upload. I'm from Little Treasury Jewelers, which is located in Gambrels, Maryland. And it's where you go when you're in the know. As always, the watches that I review are for sale and can be purchased, so please see the description below to contact us. If you're just joining us now, I'll go over the watch's detailed measurements and features, and then I'll offer my personal opinion at the end. In our last video, I reviewed the Breitling B01 Top Time Ford Mustang, which is a great chronograph with a clean design, and the Ford Mustang is its inspiration. It has cues from the first generation of Ford Mustang all over the watch. So this will be a great piece for a Mustang or just automotive enthusiast to pick up. Wrist check time. Today I'm wearing my Seiko SRPH 42K Yak Watching Thailand limited edition that I picked up while I was on my vacation to Thailand earlier in the summer. And since I visited nine different temples, this was absolutely the perfect watch to pick up since it represents the white demon giant that guards the Temple of the Dawn. Now tell me which watch you're wearing while you're watching the video and make sure to tell me why. Now let's get on to the features. My measurements for the SLA-066 are a 40.8 millimeter case width, a 13.4 millimeter thickness, a 47.8 millimeter lug to lug, a 20.1 millimeter lug width, a 31.4 millimeter crystal diameter, and it weighs in at 111.90 grams. The case is in stainless steel with a gold toned coating and is the 62 Moss recreation, which has a large flat surface at the top in matte finish and a small area of Zeratsu high polish, just like Grand Seiko's at the edges. The sides are matte finished with more Zeratsu finish beneath. A screw down crown can be found at the three position and it's simple with no logo at the top. The sapphire crystal sits flush with the bezel. The bezel is in brown that you might mistake for black and is most likely aluminum with a surface hardened coating applied. It turns unidirectionally like a dive watch should and let's go ahead and test the action. The action is good and it does feel nice for this price point. It absolutely has that Seiko noise too, but it's just very, very quiet. It does line up nicely though, just like it's supposed to. The dial is a light champagne with sunray pattern and design is inspired by ancient astrolabs used to find latitude and time based on the position of the stars and the sun. A black minute grade can be found along the edge of the dial. The dial markers are gold toned and are thick and rectangular with high polished edges and a small mini marker at the three position. Seiko can be found in black at the top middle portion. The hour and minute hands are gold toned and paddle style with a high polished finish and a gold toned second hand that has a rectangular loomed area on the tip. The date window can be found at the three position with no frame and a white background with black numerals. Automatic, the prospect symbol and divers 200M can be found on the bottom middle portion of the dial in black. Vivid loom can be found on all dial markers, the hour and minute hands, and the pip on the bezel. The case back is closed and has the Prospects wave symbol in the center. It has limited edition with the limited number beneath it. The movement is the high torque 8L35 caliber, which has been assembled at the Shizuku Ichi Watch Studio, which is where they make the Grand Seiko pieces. This movement has been based on the Grand Seiko 9S caliber, 
but has slightly different specs being it beats at 28,800 beats per hour and has a 50 hour power reserve instead of the 72 on the 9S. The accuracy is rated to between losing 10 and gaining 15 seconds per day. It is typically reserved for the high-end Prospex dive pieces and is rarely seen otherwise. The rubber strap is a new design. It is brown and has vertical lines going down the center with a steel keeper and pin buckle that are both finished very nicely and have the gold-toned coating as well. The Seiko SLA-066 is 200 meter water resistant, is limited to 300 pieces worldwide, and can be yours for $2,900. Now for my personal opinion. I really do like the 62 Moss case, and this is probably the most unique one that they have come out with thus far. It has the light gold toned coating, which really makes it a different feel. Also, the brown bezel and brown strap are unusual, but go so well with the gold toned rest of the watch. I really like that Seiko is not playing it safe with this one. You have a dial that is totally unusual, combined with a color combination of brown and gold that I haven't really seen before. And that gold tone on the case is actually a light hue instead of a heavy plated cheap look. It looks great on my six and a half inch wrist, like every 62 Moss piece, and I'm a big fan. I think that this will not only be a great piece for someone who wants an unusual gold tone diver, but also for someone who would like a very rare 300 piece limited edition Seiko of top quality to add to their collection. Thanks for watching today, everyone. I really hope that you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and share with all of your friends and your family members too. I look forward to seeing you next video.